What's the Armenia-Azerbaijan conflict got to do with the Icelandic fishing industry? Your guess would be as good as mine, but one veteran army surgeon saw things differently. Steve Jeffrey worked with casualties from the Iraq war and in Afghanistan's Camp Bastion. Leaving the forces in 2020, he soon went to Armenia to help wounded soldiers, but without military support, and had to think outside the box. The skin from this North Atlantic cod, a byproduct of the seafood business, became uniquely useful. Fish skin to heal war wounds. Back in the UK, I visited a state-of-the-art medical training facility where Steve now teaches future surgeons. Okay, we're here in the uh, operating theatre suite at the, in the simulation centre at uh, Birmingham City University. And we've got a sim man here, and you can pre-program these to, to develop problems. So in today, what we're going to be doing is trying to simulate a um, combat wound. We've got a, uh, this is going to be a simulating a fragment injury, so we're just going to put that on there. We have a problem in the battlefield with, um, with, with skin grafts because that kind of allograft material has to be kept in a special freezer. Obviously, that kind of facilities, that kind of cold storage is not going to be available in a f at a field hospital level. You know. This is why uh, we were interested in the fish skin graft. This fish skin has already undergone its own process of descaling, descelling, freeze drying, and sterilization. So you don't need to find a way to freeze or refrigerate it during a war in the desert. With other skin grafts, there's a risk of transmitting viruses between different mammals and wounded humans. So to get over that problem, what they have done previously is they've taken that skin graft and they've heavily, heavily processed it, boiled it up to within an inch of its life. It turns out there's no virus that affects fishes that can also affect humans. Because it's been processed less, it keeps more of the goodies in there. So you can't smell this because <laughs> it's not smell of vision it smells of fish. Under a microscope, cod skin actually appears very similar to our own. So once the graft is applied, it provides an ideal environment for healing. Human cells move into it as if they're at home and multiply. This helps to kickstart and speed up the healing process. That would stay on the, the uh, patients, um, certainly until they got back to the UK. By the time they, they took this dressing off, there would be healing underneath and it would be a simple operation just to get that closed. Steve was recognised by the Armenian government for his work, teaching others to use the fish skin graft once the team had left. His impact relied on experience that's often gained in times of war. And Hippocrates said that if you want to become a surgeon, then follow an army. We have done our, our best to try and learn some of the lessons um, from um, experiences in Iraq, Afghanistan, etc. But I think we've got, we have a duty of care, actually, to, to try and make things progress. I feel that it's my duty to try and use some of the, the, the experience I have and the lessons. Uh, that's still what drives me. Tom Sables, Forces News, Birmingham. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.